Digitalization is happening everywhere and is increasingly becoming more important. It is useful in manufacturing, transportation and of course in the armed forces. Our project aim was to design, build and program a quadcopter. This quadcopter then links with both Thales' aerospace due to its flight capabilities and its defense departments due to its adaptable and modular nature. <laughs> You can see the drone in order for us to mount all the bits and pieces that we need we had to figure out a frame that was made on Tollywood so this is a rough sketch of how it looks although there is a lot of wires and things hanging about it was because it was designing a basic frame use, using acrylic all done on Solidworks and we used the laser code provided by the university and the same with the red side all these holes made on the red side they use basically so we can hold the components in place. The aim for this quadcopter or drone is that we can use it with different modules. IG we can use sonar sensors so to keep it orientated the way we want it. We also this time with this one we're using an app made on the phone and that's the best way we can use it to control. The good thing about this also being modular is that we can use lasers for example you can see the drone the actual frame was done on SOLIDWORKS and you can see that by the grey part here shown and the red bit there it was done on SOLIDWORKS because it was quicker to design which is a 3D model package although we use a lot of zip ties is because this is only a prototype we plan in, in future projects to adapt this quadcopter to further improvements for example, instead of using the Arduino, we could use an embed due to that it has a more powerful processing system. The program to control our quadcopter incorporates the servo library from Arduino. Respectively, these are the front right, front left, back left and back right servos. When we initialize the program, these are all set to a value of zero and that configures the servos through the ESCs. Afterwards, we then set an incremental value and a minimum value for the turn-on. Minimum value for these ESCs turned out to be 55, so the increment can only increase to a maximum of 125. Receive an input from the controller, be that up, left, right, depending on which direction you want to go, the motors will turn accordingly. So if you put in the up command, all of these will increment by one. But if you want to turn left or right, then you will increment only the left turning or right turning servos. Controller quadcopter decided to do away with the original radio transmitter and instead use a transmitter that you have in your pocket every day, a mobile phone. We used the MIT App Inventor to make app that ran on Android phone that used Bluetooth as a link between this one, the controller and quadcopter. To create this application, we used the MIT App Inventor. We may, we, you control the quadcopter using these two joysticks. And um, this one on the right tells your altitude, and up down, your your turning left and right. And this other one um, controls your um, pitch, your forwards and backwards, and your roll, um, banking left and banking right. Um, to set the connection, we've got a little menu here that um, if there was a Bluetooth device available would uh, be there. Once you select it there, you establish a link. And on the quadcopter itself, we have a little Bluetooth receiver module which communicates with the Arduino itself with a serial connection. Um, now, this broadcasts um, when, you, when you move the joystick around, um, that it broadcasts a series of letters which represent the command that you are sending, such as F for forward or U for up, um, and on the and the Arduino reads these commands and it affects the motors accordingly. The advantage of actually doing it um, using phone rather than a big bulky transmitter is, well, for that very reason, it's more compact and easier to control for a non pilot In the end, we were unable to generate enough power for the quadcopter to take off and fly that we were able to control the motors through the app we created. This means that while we needed stronger motors and perhaps a lighter battery, we did in fact complete what we set out to do.